Lena J into the reacting to season two, episode 20 of Angel. We have two more episodes before the season finale. So last episode was called Belonging. And we got a chance to learn more about Lance and his history. Because this whole season, Lance has been the insight, the end path that notices emotions and tells Angel and everybody else like what path they're mostly able to go. And in this outcome, we end up learning about his backstory. And a side transition point, we have Cordelia, who is continuing her kind of acting kind of gig, which we've been seeing since season one. But we kind of had a hiatus from and small majority of season two. It continues with her having this commercial where she's on the beach in a bikini and Angel and whatever. They, you know, they celebrate. They're at an expensive restaurant. They're getting alcohol, whatever the case may be. And Angel is acting like a cheap. <laughs> And they were joking about, you know, Cordelia is going to be a big famous star. Angel is seeing this lady with this kind of, you know, fashionista kind of scarf, whatever, or some type of garb or shawl. Goes up to her, basically, is like, I know this is a witch shawl. And, like, and she's like, What? And Cordelia's like, Actually, this is an expensive, you know, thing. He's just a very much stylist designer. He's interested in that covering. But she sits down, starts to vomit, and knocks the whole, you know, knocks all the stuff off the table. Wesley, he's talking to his parents. I think it's his father's birthday. And once again, his dad is very disappointed. Wesley kept hinting about, you know, him being fired. And is he going to be fired again? Pretty much showing that he is disappointed in him. We go to Angel showing up at Cordelia's, you know, commercial. Trying to ask if she has any more information about the appearance of, um what the monster and is she ready to help kill the said person but her director comes and he's making these misogynistic comments about her body and how she looks like she'd been sick and she's like i'm actually got over you know um being sick you know and he's like well you you got a diet haha <laughs> you don't um go back in the makeup she's like i just did he's like go back in there and you need to show more boobs. Like, he was making so many things of basically objectifying her. And Angel was not having it. He was about to square up with this guy on site. And Cordelia was like, you're embarrassing me. Please bounce. And Angel, he gets aggravated. He finally leaves. Goes to Wesley and Charles. And he's like, listen, like, she was being objectified at work. Well, this is kind of a conflict of how with Cordelia hanging out with Angel and them, she's helping the world. While in the acting industry, she's a piece of meat being you know scoured over and devoured and whatever the case may be we end up having a charles third point coming in which is where his friends from previous episodes who always had like this shady con this shady kind of comments towards him working for angel and stuff like that was saying hey we need help with a vampire problem they're consuming you know people that are living on the streets and they're like annoyed that guns hasn't been you know in their world like how he used to when he used to literally like be at the head of them so he's like you know what um okay i'll help y'all i just gotta handle killing the, the monster and you know angel's like you know let's kill the heckler demon now we might as well just do it by this time of you know angel talks about to wesley and charles about cordelia but then they go and they kill the heckler demon and cordelia's there she's like listen it was an embarrassing experience and she the director is pretty much just coming for me the whole time this we go and we find out that listen cordelia gets a vision of this lady in the library and a portal opens up while this is also happening we have lance and his club a portal opens this big demon runs out immediately pushes everybody out the way and he's like let me go to angel he goes to angel with him he's like listen there's a monster on the loose he will get hungry at some point and they're like, well, we can look for them, but let's check out the library. Well, they're going to the library. They get the description of the lady. Lance get noticed. They think that he's like the storyteller. But they're like, yeah, this lady disappeared five years ago. Um, and they're like, her name, you know, um, so her name, her Fred, her name is Fred. She disappeared five years ago. And they're like, huh? They open up, Cordelia opened up the book, says, this, says some words, which just ended up being a spell. And causes Lance's cousin named Landock to come out. And he's pretty much saying that you're a disgrace, you know, to our family. And your mom, 
um is basically ripping every picture of you and you're supposed to cut your like why are you home why you have no interest in returning and don't you have a conquest and lance is like i don't want to go there and play and kill everybody and hunting and stuff like that i want to feel emotions like what that word is that that's black and white with this you know gun's friends they end up going to the vampire stuff out waiting for him and one of them gets killed so they have to basically set him on fire because he got bitten and you know there's like a funeral thing which was sad because you know this was something that you know guns like they've been doing this for a long time and once again i think loss has always been one of those things but i feel like charles will feel guilty because he was supposed to help them with this they have a fight with the drag the grand god demon they fight, kill it finally after a while. And they open a portal to send Landoc home afterwards. And Landoc goes, but also Cordelia is gone. So Cordelia wakes up, up and she's in the portal and she's like looking around. So, anyways, let's dive in. Corey. Corey. She's in that oh, portal. No. Oh my god, no. She's gone. Cordy's been sucked into the portal. She's in the host's dimension now. Where's Cordelia? Cousin? <laughs> you ain't even learned his name. <laughs> what I tell you? It's an echo? Is she... This is not... This is not Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you start to pick them boots. shot? Yeah, try. I mean... Sorry, oh, my me. God. That's... That's incredible. It's funny. always Cordelia. Good, always Cordelia. Girl. Yeah, my life. Oh, Cordelia, you're not running fast enough, boo. Look, he about to eat you up out here. You getting drunk? We need to get answer. drunk. Okay, let's approach this logically. Screw logic. We're getting Cordy back. Okay. But we're completely gonna, unprepared. You know, we should go back to the hotel, do some research. I don't want to research. All right, I want to jump to the big swirling hole thingy and save Cordelia. Oh. Maybe I have to be standing through the portal open. <laughs> No blue. I think he's saying it wrong, maybe. Ain't out of batteries. Battery? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Damn it. Ain't about to lose it, I fear. So I suggest we return to the hotel, figure out a way to make one. You're gonna make you know, maybe one? Maybe it's best that you can't get in. I'm gonna jump into my world looking like that. So they gonna steal our clothes? Like what? Like a human. Yeah, and actually, Angel, you're gonna be going out there to the sunlight. Oh, she's able to maintain this distance for a while, isn't she? Never mind, actually. I'm not supposed to feel like this, but. And also? Ew. Yeah, get off me. Dude, stop it! Thing you've got there. Don't lie. Personally, I've always been a real Any thing person. lover. Good boy. A cow, mister. Excuse me? What the? Um, uh, oh. Sure, okay, let's see. Uh, I was there. I came here. I like here. I, I don't want to go there. Please. So is that all? Because I need to clean up the club. Pilea. Oh, Pilea? My home dimension. You just told us Back this when finally? I left there, I would have done anything to get out. Anything. Who opened the portal? We don't know, Angel. What can he ask? Gift to us. Mouth. In an abandoned Pretty building. Pretty might find a girlfriend. Billy. Do you? Well, try this. They have no music there. Sir, that's not that important. We see very it's much. It's cold. What? Uh, put on a sweater. No, 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 no. The hot <laughs> hey, spot Julie, is not what he's talking about. Creating a portal hey, tends to deplete the hot spot of its psychic energy. So it is and gone. since now. we already opened one, there the hot know. spot is cold. That's why you couldn't open the second portal. See, um, I was right. It was the batteries. It's a cool damn... It's a cool damn The same wind up literally on opposite ends of the world. Oh my god. That means Landoc and Cordy didn't arrive together. What? I should have been there, but. He was here. I'm sorry, but Wes said the trip was one way, and I, I, I can't. Uh, I think. Please, find her. You know, you, listen, Angel's not even. Angel's not even trying to sleep, which he probably barely can. I mean, he can. Angel's not even want to go to sleep. What? <laughs> but it's your world. We need to kite. Uh, remember when I said, uh, I love this dimension, and I'm never, never, never gonna leave this is ties people to take care of so do i he's yeah she's just she's just dangling like that like a ham hock that's actually crazy ugly too 
What? One pig. Two pigs. Wow. Now this old cow should probably crop before I can get her home. Wow. Damn. I know her arm's hurting. Arm My arm be hurting by it. just okay. cleaning. Now I'd like to get right there. They, they shot her like a dog? Cows aren't for talking. They're for doing their jobs if they know what's good for them. Miss, I don't to tell you. They just enslaved her. Is that? Oh, that's Fred. How did she sneak through the trenches? Oh, it's yeah, like you feel cut off. Oh. Lord, you have to go. Is this the same oh, girl from episode one of Buffy who yelled when they found a dead body in the locker room or they just recast her as somebody else? Oh, I know. I just want to see what kind of spin you're going to put on. Dimensional portals. Psychic hotspots. She got used to demons real quick. Oh, they're all pointed at that portal. Are, are you sure you're just not seeing the chili I had for lunch yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about conflict? I think sure. I'd rather invite you a hive skip? of wasps to nest in my throat. I'd rather sit through a junior okay, high school the production we get the point. We get the point. You see where I'm going with this? We get the point. Not yes. all of all these issues that are clouding up your aura. I can see it. Not your aura getting clouded up. And be honest. Deep down, you've always known you'd have to take that one last trip back home. Is that big enough for you? My voice is so soothing. <laughs> is that I what I sound sleep. like? You freakishly hybridized Siamese twin. Mm -hmm. Keep looking. <laughs> yeah, please. What will work, Wesley? It's been 12 hours since it's been sucked through that portal. There's no telling what's gonna happen by now. Okay, what do you please. want? Angel. We've come to appraise the hotel. What? Correct me if I'm wrong, but your lease expires in six months, and Wolfram and Hart is interested in purchasing this building. You gotta be kidding me. Take a walk around the place if you don't mind. Oh, you Angel. think I mind? Angel? I don't think they're scared, boo. One or two loopholes to be exploited. Oh my god, they coming for Angel now? Like, they are so annoying. I knew they were going home, they had no peace. I wanna go home. And she's keeping a dookie? Like I wanna order some Thai food. Into your head. Like, it'll implode. So, so don't take the collar off, okay? Because I can't talk to you if you don't have a head, okay? Been here. I was born here. Oh. I, I mean, not really. I just sometimes I think I was. I, 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 mean, be so I don't think we're well, crazy, but I'm not wrong. Mm. So how do I get? Get out? the shovel. Well, they, yes. They're gonna come rescue me anytime now. Yes, and I you can get, get the back. shovel in too. I didn't have the math, which is strange. The math. I, um, oh no. Get the shovel and damn it. She could save she her. She What? How did they even find her? Mm -hmm. And they don't even like the Take sun went down over there. Cause we got oh, two of them bitches. A mortgage for the hotel. Mm. Damn. Oh, he bad. How are you holding up? He really says Eureka. He does. I know how to get us through the portal. Good. Thank you. Let's go. Not Angel booking like that. That, that girl in the barn. Shut up, Carl. Carl, oh, this Turns is it. the duck of the Gathwa clan was right. You talk too much. You are. Bitch, that milk about to go. Oh, did she drop Fair the milk? Cow. Fair. Oh. Okay. Isn't anyone going to ask if I'm okay? Curse! My Curse. cow is... I ain't going with the slide. Oh my god. Y'all look cursed. Damn. Here. Stop here. Way before Brad and Jennifer. Mm, okay. You get the book? I keep forgetting that since 2000. Hold that tight, okay? And they're going to vanish. Is they going to take yeah. Angel Car with them? Or are you going to move out the car? You know, I don't know. Put the top up? Almost? 96%. Well, it's not like I've ever done that. Jimmy, you've been rushing Wesley for like a whole damn day. Oh. Charles. Man, sit up. down, please. Like, don't let it happen again. I understand, though. But. I'm scared for y'all. I'm about to say scared for y'all. Like, I drive. Barely. Come on, Josh. Buckle up, Buttercup. That's smart. They just drove in it. In the book, 
didn't go with them. Somebody gonna get that book and start doing anything. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't, you didn't think about that before, boo. Yeah, oh, they made it in here. Sons, yes. So Angel would have been burnt, burnt because we could. Perhaps they don't have the same effect on them. So we made it then. This is your world. That was a foreshadow in, in the um in the studio with the with the stage. How come nobody told me that was a risk? Can everybody just notice how much fire I'm not on? Look at him. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Material age. That man's first time over in that patch of sun. I'll get him. Look. He's enjoying this. Pretty quick. Me too. Look at him. Well, I I mean for her sake, of course. If I know I can make it happen. I just saw it. Before it had come to pass. Yes. Exactly. No. It is the curse. I mean, with that damn. We will commence the test. The test. The test. Test. Of what? I'm good. That looks like they're dissecting her. Oh my God! They're gonna be probing. Like, what are you doing? My child, do I don't even know you? But how do you can even detect that? I'll keep them to myself. Uh, Cordelia just can somebody free her from this whole world, please? She's always getting tortured. Yeah, right. He took the he took the coat off. You know he was sweating buckets. <laughs> you know he was sweating. Buckets. There's nothing there. I checked it before we started hiding it to make sure we didn't leave anything. Yeah. Oh, like say the fuck. <laughs> Hold on. I never heard him yell before my life. What was in the little squeeze of lime? Can't even hear Except that. for they don't have them here. Guys, you guys, <laughs> we'll figure out another way to get back. We will. But right now, we got He got the angel you. anger now. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, Tests are complete. She carries the curse of the site. That's a curse? I guess. I guess that would be a, a curse. That is, I am disgusted. Did you carry the sight of ugly? You know, if I see you on the street, remember, it's all for you. My why are you afraid of Zena? I mean, I think she's kind of fly. Boo! Boo! What? Oh, then can we pretend I didn't just say that? Yeah, right over there is Blix's house. Boyhood chum of mine. Uh, we were best of buds. Always playing. Games, watching <laughs> you talking about that that show that people keep recommending me? The Z is it Zeno Princess something like that? He's just gonna knock on somebody's door with this fresh suit on. He about to start yelling. What? See? The traitor. <laughs> Take me out. Mm. This is not what we. Surrounded. This is not the vibes. Oh, they just, oh, they just fighting. Oh, see a lot of people to go to. Okay, Wes. Never mind, Wes. Damn, Lances. <laughs> Into the devil's pit. Yeah. Don't. So, how have you been? For Lawrence Waff of the Deathwalk Clan, you have returned. Not for you, though. Why? I do not know where you have been, Kreb Lawrence Wath of the Deathwalk Clan, but Deadly it is clear Deadly. that you have abandoned the teachings of your people. Okay. You use your tongue in my presence. Oh, you abuse you hitting my son? Oh. I'm worthy trash. I'm worthy trash. Yes. Some community services out. <laughs> Everybody's just getting hit. He's just getting free hits with that big ass butt chin, but watch when they get up when they watch Put when they these get things away. These things. It's no use. Things made out of some kind of magical alloy. Mm -hmm. Really? And he got on them tents. I know his feet hot. We found anything yet? Oh, see a little tight. Gonna be six, seven inch. Compared to this place, I'm sure the tower takes on a certain nostalgic glow. Oh. I wonder if they're treating the host any better. I'm making more noise than he said to be. He said you're quiet. I was supposed to hear you. Chop. I can hear two men talking in the hall. They're going. <laughs> <laughs> but. I heard two guys talking about a girl with visions. Said you might not to speak. Oh, debunch your panties, Narwhack. You are a traitor to your home. We don't hear you abandoned your again. life giver, betrayed your people. The village square. We will hang their corpses as a warning. Wow. To who? Like, 
What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Cordelia? Hi, guys. <laughs> it is so bad. I want to give you a zero. But that's not possible. So I give you a 10. Actually, it wasn't a bad episode. That, you. <laughs> okay. That's probably the best outcome Cordelia's ever had. You mean to tell me that I've watched Cordelia get literally probed, tortured, treated like trash, clean, scooped up doo-doo balls. <laughs> and she was cursed. They said that she was cursed with the sight. And they gave her a little bubble bath and cleaned her up. Like, what? Like, she she became a monarch or something? Like, she's wearing a bikini, jewelry. Like, she's decked out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so this episode was called Over the Rainbow. And in all honesty... I'm wondering if the last two episodes are going to be them coming back home because I love Angel. For me, okay. I understand why people are not, like, they're, like people don't watch Angel in some degree because to, like, I'm only attached to Angel as a character. So, like, everybody else. So, everybody else is just, like, a in and out type of thing. I've already became detached to the point that I know Joss is going to kill off several people. But see, with five people on Angel, they're not going to stop. So when it comes to some of these characters, I learned to keep a low expectations for their storyline. Cordelia, though, she gets the worst treatment alive. <clears throat> and I don't even think we got to the worst part. Like, I heard it gets worse over the seasons. But the treatment she gets is horrible. She, I, like, her storylines get, like, pushed on the side so bad. Like, her, her kind of acting career got pushed aside for this season majority of the time because there were so many other things overlapping so we rarely got a chance to see this because there's no way i mean i mean i guess in a degree um due to her getting these sights and stuff like that and these seer visions she would probably lower her chances of being on acting industries but there's no way that this is the first time she's introduced to that kind of the misogynistic thing from last episode like there's no way like, I would have at least wanted to see more of her interacting and her struggling with, men, you know, maneuvering a human life, trying to be in, in, in acting gigs, than to um, just randomly throw it in at the end of the season because it correlates to, I don't even know. Like, the last time I, I remember, I, maybe she did do something at the beginning of the season, but I, last time I really remember it, like, really, really remember it, it's like when the girl came and, and drugged Angel. Like, I feel like with Cordelia, her storyline is the least explored. She doesn't have love interests. And she's, the only reason why she's going to get one is through Angel. She doesn't have friends. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that she should. But, but Charles has friends. You know, Wesley was getting his little shindig. He has his own storyline, own little lover. Cordelia doesn't have that. Cordelia is just... She don't even have, like... Like, the closest we got to development of See Your Sight was now. Um, we don't see her struggling with this new vision until, like, now when they mention it. But we don't see her struggling with, like, her pursuing career and she gets thrown in every predicament every episode <clears throat> every big thing that can like scar that girl it just happens like oh you thought you were going to get over seeing that guy stab himself with an eye no let's send just another portal let's get you probed up be a slave oh but it's a good outcome because she is a monarch because she has sight out of pocket i feel like she's probably the least utilized um and I feel like I'll have to see how they're going to do three to five because if I heard worse and I've seen her do live streams where she talked about it, but I try to stay away from due to spoilers. I can only imagine how long this, this discussion will be. Next, we have Fred. I feel like, I mean, I didn't, <laughs> between her and Lance, I barely be catching these people's names. Like for Fred, yes. Like I know my friend was like, Fred is coming last episode. And I was like, yeah. But then I was like, who? And then I was like, that lady from the library has significance so maybe she will become a main character which is making me kind of nervous because does that mean that lance is going to die does it mean that charles is going to die because we just had this big scare where charles was like distancing himself from i'm not really distancing himself but like realizing that he's going to try to put 
the blame on his shoulders due to his other friends. So I'm scared that means somebody's going to die. Or unless they're just going to, you know, use her knowledge as for her to join the team since she knows a lot of things. But she is joining, so I'm kind of nervous. But once again, this I'm not surprised. Like, once again, I mean, this kind of matched my expectations of what was going to happen in a new demon dimension. I felt like we've always seen, like, you know, here on Earth, we've seen demons and we're like, ew, chain them up, slave them, just like how they did with Angel Let in season one, where they had the demons chained up to fight. This is kind of the same premise, you know. When you come to a, a place where you're not familiar, you will experience that, you know, xenophobia. So I wasn't shocked to see it in Angel or at least in that dimension out of pocket. I mean, I think it's different cultures. I mean, like we're different demon races. So that's crazy. I do want to learn more about Lance. I feel like, is it just, is Lance just a traitor because he doesn't want to hunt and stuff like that? Like, if we want to see his family... Did his cousin make it? Like, I don't even, I didn't even see his cousin. Like, did his cousin get lost? We we don't know. And then lastly, I do want to talk about the Wolf Woman Heart because they're coming back to fight. They're going to try to kick Angel out the house, which means, I mean, out the hotel, which means it's probably going to be either a last thing for season two or it's going to be a big thing in season three because there's going to be several other enemies, but the Wolf Woman Heart will be staying. Like, now Lila's the co-header. I don't know, like, is Darla and Drusilla just on open ends? Like, they just, once again, escape death doors again? Like, okay. Kate, she's obviously in my ad. I don't know if she's coming back or not. Mm. It's a lot. It's a lot, honestly. I was gonna, have, I was gonna say something, but I literally forgot. And also, I wonder if Angel's not catching on fire because of it being a hell dimension, because then that would make sense. But I do like how it was kind of foreshadowed to him experiencing the sun because of the last episode. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of trying to see if they're gonna continue on Cordelia being this kind of supernatural star, but we'll see. Anyway, that was my season two episode twenty reaction to Angel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Angel reactions. Patreon link for four extended reactions to Buffy, Angel, and Sailor Moon. Turn in the description link so you can check me out for this episode or check me out for future updates. Until next time, make sure you be safe. Peace.